Well, welcome to the first release of quarter four, What's New? Uh, we published this on the 16th of October, so all these features are already live in the system. So uh, once you've listened to this, you can go and have a look straight away. So let's have a look at what we've got in the learning and development release. Um, as you can probably gather, quite a few of the features targeted towards the uh, development side of the uh, system. So let's have a look at what we've got. So a uh, big announcement right up front. Um, we've now got two certified training courses, one for administrators and one for people managers, both including uh, the basics around Sophia and importantly, both including an online exam with real time results and an automatically generated certificate at the end of the training just to prove that um, you've got the knowledge to exploit the system to its full advantage. In the admin console, um, again, all around the L&D side of things, uh, when you select your training providers, you can actually set uh, one or more of them to be preferred. And that shows up in the planner console to guide your employees. Uh, we've been working with Skillsoft and we've got the Percipio um, course portfolio now loaded in. Uh, 1500 courses mapped to Sophia. So if there's a skill gap, there's probably an answer in the Percipio portfolio. Uh, a little bit of work around the analytics, um, mainly around organizational skill gaps, just some uh, more granular filters give you a better understanding of that overall picture of um, organizational skill gaps against the uh, totality of your skill requirements. In the planner console, uh, ties in with the training provider and the, uh, the preferred um, option. Uh, you can now filter uh, on training provider in the predefined actions. We'll have a look in a sec. Um, the My People tab now combined everyone into a single list where you can sort. So you'll see uh, team members and people that you manage all in the one list with approval flags in various places, including separate approval for additional frameworks if you use them. The preferred name of an individual can now be selected as the one that you see in the planner and you can update them in the planner as well. So if uh, your name changes or you've got a, a preferred name to be known by, then uh, you can have that displayed there. And finally, just to catch up with the uh, additional frameworks that we added a couple of releases ago, uh, the individual and the job reports uh, that are using those frameworks will actually include an additional table with that information. OK, let's get straight into it and have a look uh, initially at the admin console. Um, pretty simple here. I'm going into configure workspace. Um, in fact, no, I'm not. I'm actually going to go into select training providers. And here, list of the organizations that have loaded um, the portfolio into the system. Uh, over here is where you select whether or not they're visible to your employees uh, or workforce. Um, and in addition to being visible or not, you can also set it to being the preferred supplier. So if you've got contracts with some of these uh, training providers, uh, obviously you want to direct your employees to those first. OK, not much more to show in the admin console, so we're going to fire across into the planner. And we're going to look at the uh, action plan. So I'm here in someone's action plan over on the right hand side standard custom actions predefined i've selected predefined here we've got this additional filter where i can select the training provider that i'm interested in looking at and i'm notified that in this case we have a preferred provider and of course the list that i'm now seeing is uh, only training options provided by that provider so pretty straightforward let's dive across and have a look at my people see how this has changed so we changed the format. There used to be tabs for people that you were the team leader or manager for. They're now in the single list, uh, which is good because you can sit them side by side. All of these columns are sortable. And here, when I've got a legend down the bottom, this is telling me that Carol has got an approved uh, self-assessed for Sophia. And she's also had her core competencies approved, um, which is an additional framework. So just very quickly gives managers and team leaders that uh, instant view of all the people that they are responsible for. OK. Oh, um, whilst we're here, we'll also have a look just over in my settings. This is where we've added 
the ability to edit first, last and preferred name. And here we've got the option, would you like to use your preferred name selected as yes, which means that Sophia, whose preferred name is Sophie, when we go across into the planner, wherever that name is displayed, you'll actually see up here she's referred to as Sophie. So just a personalization issue. Uh, but of course, just um, making sure that that user experience is as good as it can be. OK, folks, that's pretty much it um, in terms of what we've got in this release. Uh, so th those are all uh, in the system. Uh, if you'd like to know more about the training, um, by all means, give me a shout, paul.collins at skillstx.com, and we'll get somebody to talk to you, um, take you through um, the format, et cetera, et cetera, and of course, provide any uh, prices. Okay, thank you very much, and um, we'll see you on the what the uh, next what's new.